Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure and I got a request for doing a video on a Honda TRX uh, 250 and it just so happens that I have a few of these floating around and as a matter of fact I have one in the way here so what we're going to do is drag this thing out of here see what it needs, see if we can't get it fired up again this is one of two that I bought from northern New Jersey and unfortunately both of them were kind of uh, screwed up beyond all belief and then some um, they were just monkeyed with top to bottom front to back so I kind of worked on them and I kind of got them both to start and run a little bit then I became frustrated and you know pushed one off here and pushed the other one off there we'll dig that one out too eventually but um this was the one that was for parts and that was the one that theoretically ran but i believe the parts one the engine actually had better potential than the other one anyway i don't quite remember who is who so we'll dig this puppy out of here and we'll see if we can't do something with it okay here it is in all its glory it is a 1986 honda trx 250 I mentioned I bought it in northern New Jersey and we can see right up front it's got a couple of problems problem number one <laughs> somebody uh, borrowed the um, tie rod tie rod ends out of it so I need that right up front and problem number two it's got no back shock it's got a tire rim in there so, uh, right up front, we got to fix those things because, quite honestly, this thing is way too heavy for me to carry around. So, check it out. We have this 1987 parts donor machine. I got this from Hillbilly Homestead up there in, I believe it's New Hampshire. Or was it Vermont? Anyway, whatever. Um, I could very quickly... I need to steal some lug nuts. I could do that. I can steal the tie rod. They're both there. And you guys could see, though the rear end is out of it, I do have the back shock. So this too needs to be dragged over and we need to steal some parts from it. So we need two things for the um, ATV up by the garage. We need this tie rod with its ends and we have them right there and we need a back shock and we have that right here good things this 1987 TRX 250 came from um, Hillbilly Homestead right Mike up there in I think it's New Hampshire or Vermont and he happens to be right on the corner of things, so everything's kind of right close together there. Anyway, so I'll take these parts out, and we'll bring them up above and install them. Getting the back out, shock out is easy. Um, you want to take the weight off of it, so you, you kind of want your back tires on the ground. In my case, somebody already did the bottom undid the bottom for me so once again you want to get the weight off the shock you know take the bolts out it shouldn't be all that difficult 17 on the big side 14 on the small side right and out she goes and once again they even saved the bolt on the bottom for me for the front tie rod, remember, you can put a wrench in here to hold it so that the center of that tie rod doesn't spin. And once again, just to take the bolt out. This one too, right? You just gotta take the bolt out. And once again, you could hold this one on the far side also with a 14. And then comes right out. And there we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. See the flat? I think I'm showing it to you right there. Right there. You can hang on to that with a 14. Otherwise, it'll spin and spin and spin. And you'll get cranky. So 
So I don't know if anybody's had to work on a tie rod, tie rod recently. You know there's a flat to grab the bolt on top and you just, you know, put a wrench on the bottom and tighten it up. The only problem I was having was my wrench, my um, 14, was too thick. So we took a half inch and ground it down, made it a little wider so it became a 14. I keep a certain amount of this these cheap junk tools floating around so that one could kind of upgrade them. Then you try to put them someplace that you can find them again. Okay, we got the front wheels bolted on um, properly. We got the tie rod put in and we find a couple of problems. Problem number one is, I think you guys can you see that, right? Um, these tires are too big. Obviously, <laughs> they were, uh, they were kind of cobbed on there by somebody else. And the second problem is rock and roll, right? Um, you know, you discover this stuff as you're trying to put them together. This thing obviously died of a really hacked wire harness. So we're going to forget about that. Um, I think the... Right, you turn over. Yeah, it seems to have compression. I'm going to start filming this after I uh, almost smoked that 200S motor. I want to be a little more careful. So, what do we have left to do to start this thing? Um, the compression feels real good. I'm going to skip the compression test. Um, it just it feels like it's got more than enough compression to start, so I'm not going to monkey with that. The exhaust system actually looks pretty good actually the exhaust system looks very good yeah obviously this thing sat out in the sun for a long time which is what blistered up the paint came with a few tools I gotta get those out of there or they're gonna fall out the trunk here. Right? Don't wanna lose the junk in the trunk. Yeah, I got the um the back shock in. It's nice, this thing has tail lights on it, though the plastic is really pretty trashy. It's there. As usual, the tools are missing. But I'm happy the tail lights are both here. Force comes to worse, I do have some parts. I like, uh, they put these over the shocks, too. A, they don't look too horrible, and B, they are preserving them. So, I'm going to put uh, some juice to the starter, and let's see what it sounds like. We already know it's not locked, so I can't do any damage. So, about the electric starter. Round and round it goes. I think somebody stole the gears out of it. Gears cost about a hundred bucks, give or take a little bit. So there's a decision one has to make as you're putting this together. Okay, I think I have this thing ready to start. We checked the oil, we did that on video. I plugged up this leak, right, made sure that was tight enough. I put the carburetor on it with the adapter. There's the throttle for that. With my portable CDI unit, and that box is 12 volts, a 12 volt CDI, a coil, fancy little switch. So all it wants from the engine is the pulse from the pulse generator. And that comes out on that blue and yellow wire. Hopefully I'm pointing to it. The black wire goes to ground, and then I have a separate wire that goes to engine ground to make sure the spark is going to get its just desserts. Okay, I'm ready to kick it over. Um, these things do not have a compression release, 
so I really can't use the electric starter on them. I actually have to hop up and down on the kickstarter, which means I'm going to give it starting fluid. Right, we'll give it a quick hoot of this amazing stuff, and we'll hope that it starts easily. So let me set up the camera, give me a moment, and hopefully this thing is running soon. actually sounds pretty good. No bad sounds. I'm not seeing any oil leak. I got the idle turned up again. Yes, it seems to move. My guess is that'll probably break in now, right? But the exhaust sounds good. Valve sounds good. She's out of gas. Not that, not, ouch. Boy, yes, the exhaust system is hot. So not bad for a, uh, a parts bike. It did start, and it looks like it has the potential to move, which is all good news. I got some uh, flippy floppy around with this front wheel. So... A lot of it looks like the front wheel bearing shot. So that might not be that bad. Both sides aren't great, so I can pull the front wheel off the other one. You know what, we might just, just for a laugh, we might just turn this into a rider, right? Just, you know, because we can. I do need for around the property, I really need um, to put reverse in the tailor done, and I really do need kind of a tow truck. So one of these should become that too, right? The tailor done with a winch for hauling stuff up on the back, and one of these is a tow truck to just, you know, drop a hook, um, lift something halfway up, or lift it up so one set of wheels or part of it is not the whole thing is dragging on the ground like a rock right um that'd be great to set up also anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and make sure you get out and enjoy each and every day with some stuff that's going on in my life and, uh, and with this virus thing and everything else. You really don't know how much time you're going to get, so make sure you get out there and have some fun. Anyway, take care. Bye now.